Our story takes place in the 44th Precinct, South Bronx, New York. This one square mile area has the highest crime rate in New York City. For three months in 1976, while riding with the officers of the 4-4, we witnessed firsthand their daily confrontation with crime. What you are about to see is a candid report. Events such as these happen every day in every city, wherever there is high crime. The newspapers aren't going to aren't going to print the truths. They're not going to print the 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 actual type of, of of crimes that are going out here. Come running out for a day to film a, a day in the life of a cop or a day in the life of a high crime precinct. Bullshit. That's that's all it is. Total bullshit. You can't you can't do it because it's 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 just like a, a flowing river and all the garbage is coming down through it. And you just couldn't do it in a day or in two days. You you know. You have to come out here and, and sit around and uh, and then the cops are told, you don't talk to anybody, you don't say nothing to anybody, you got to keep everything uh, quiet. Maloney, you can't do that. you got to get out there and you got to speak and you got to say, this is what's going down and this is what happens when you go to court. <coughs> and this is how, how ridiculous it looks. When you get out of court, you can walk him back and here's a guy you just arrested for robbery standing on the corner. And the judges let him out. But you can't classify us as, as soldiers, or as you say, mercenaries, because we're getting paid for what we do. Because again, we're not out there fighting anything other than crime. A soldier and a mercenary doesn't try to protect anybody but themselves. And they fight for X number of feet or yards of ground. All we're trying to do is keep society safe from the animals that are out here. Well, let's put it this way. They can intimidate some policemen out there, okay? And they do, correct? And they most certainly do. They most certainly do. But then again, if they come up against me and my partner and they start any of that crap, I would think nothing of knocking them right on their back. You know, and, and everybody thinks, and they, 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 they always come out with these statements, you know, about how the cops like to kick ass and haul ass and everything like that. As sad as it may seem, there's people out here who need their ass kicked to haul them back in the line. It's not a popularity contest out here. I'm not out here to have everybody love me. This is why I said before, it's not a job everybody can do. Motherfucker! Why don't you just lay off? I'll kill your whole motherfucking family for this Just lay off. All right. Okay? He smacked me. He came out two nights ago, he smacked me on my face. No, he came back. This is an ongoing thing. Officer, that's, right, that's so because he arrested me. Right, sit down in the car and be quiet. Get it, I'm going to kill your mother for this. I swear upon my mother's grave, my children, right I swear. Right 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 when everything you came knocking on my windows, I was asleep. They came you knocking on my window. You liar, you damn liar. on my windows and stole Get my you, you're going to die for this, your whole family. You know what I mean? That's the way you it happens. You see this fucking hole, I'll kill that bitch. You see? You Jimmy, fucking keep her in the car. Officer, number one, when I was pregnant, this hole right here kicked me in my stomach when I was pregnant with my baby. Get off of me. That whore tried to kill my baby one day. And I'm gonna kill her. She tried to kill my son. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! That man pulled a gun on my husband. Oh my, God. my husband what tried to defend himself. Yes, I swear. I don't Nancy know. When I saw it, I ran over girl, here. I she she got built in and I just one, came out of another girl I know. nice people right? let me in the use their phone to call the police. Right? And that's what I called for. Right. You came on my window, right? yeah. window. Yeah. I told her not to open it. She opened it because you do say he wanted to talk to us. So we talked it and for a while he said come on out and fight like a man. I said, look, you know, man, I, I know you're bigger than I am. I won't fight you. I don't want no trouble. So what he did, he pulled down, you know, 
the shades and walking through, you know, I want to call Vic to the super, right? And I say, look, man, that guy's busting up the joint. He came in with all my components and run up that way. He and another girl. And that was it. And I lent them to that girl. My, my components are gone. And I asked her to give them back to me. Okay. And get that now. Charlie to Central. 44 Charlie to Central. You got a bus respond in 162. He stabbed about 14 times. Yeah. Didn't you see him? I pulled him out and opened him up. Mira, yo vine, yo pasé por aquí, usted está sentado aquí, yo lo veo ahí debajo. There's no ambulance coming, there are no ambulances, all right? Yeah, how long, man? How long is that a man? Come on. All right, so are you spanning to some of them What are you, a troublemaker or no, what? Right, you got plenty to man. say, but you, you got, got nothing to help. Yeah, man, you got the guy that Keep them quiet, eh? Yeah, He's got a big goddamn mouth, that's all he's got. Did you think the boy was dead? I think he's dead. I think he's dead. But you never say that. In front of a large group like this, they can get very nasty, as you saw. Look, I want these people arrested up there. No, the people that live up there. Yes, the people that sent these other people to stab. Did you make chalk marks? Ed, probably will. Huh? Probably will. They're going to want to know. Just mark his feet, that's all. He put an arrow where his head was. 